This is Ooh La La Leg Day, and we are about to get some pretty fabulous legs. And bonus, we got abs as well. So we're gonna get right into our warm up, and then we'll get this strong legs workout. Oh, and abs started. Let's start with a squat, and we're gonna alternate with a knee pull. So this workout today, only thing you're gonna need are your heavy dumbbells. We're gonna be on the ground for a few of the exercises, but the goal for today is to lift heavy. We're gonna be working hypertrophy, which means we are gonna be working to shape and tone all of the muscles in our lower body. Three more here, here's three, here's two, one. Take those legs out a little bit wider. We're gonna do a lateral lunge, then we're gonna do a center, almost sumo squat, and then the other side. So we're gonna take it to one side, squat it back, and lateral lunge. Good, keep your head up, keep your chest up. Three sets for each today. So make sure you're picking weight accordingly. Keep it heavy, but adjust if you need to during those three sets. You can always take a break if needed. Remember, this is always your training session, so make it work for you. Last one on this side. Here's center and up. Walk the feet in, we're gonna go into good mornings. Hands on your hips, we're gonna drive the hips back, slight bend in the knee. Chest comes down towards the floor, and then up, squeeze. So we're warming up through the hamstrings now. Three more. Here's three, two, and one. From here, we're gonna walk it onto the mat so we can lift up nice and tall, reach for the sky. We're gonna walk it down, out, into plank, and then drop it down to your knees. We're gonna be here on our knees. We're gonna press up, making a uh, triangle with our body, driving those heels towards the floor. So push back through the heels of your hands and then alternate knees. So bend those knees in, doing a little march here. Almost there, here's three, two, and one. Back up, push back. Drive those heels towards the floor, stretching out through the calves. And then back to plank, knees down. Now from here on all four knees, I wanna make sure we're getting those hips nice and warm. So we're gonna do um, fire hydrant hip circles. So we're gonna lift it up and around, so making a nice big circle here. We're gonna work one side and then the other, and then we're getting ready to get right into this workout. Three more, two, one, other side, nice big circles. Really important to keep your hip mobility, so this is helping warm up those hips so we can get that full range through all the exercises we're going to work through today. Three more, two, and one. Whew. Awesome. Let's bring it up. We're getting ready to go into a squat. So for your squat, dumbbells are gonna come right up on your shoulders, so you'll need a set of two dumbbells. And just to give you a range, I'm starting out with 25 in each hand for my squat today. Five seconds we go. Here's three, two, and let's go. Keep that chest up, keep that head up. Whew. Come on, keep it strong. Exhale as you press through the heels there, down and exhale. Whew. Here's three. Two, one, nice. 30 seconds to rest. Listen, through, any, through each of the sets, if you do need to take a longer break, if you need to take a break in between the set, make sure to do that. Always remember this is your training session, so you make it work for you. 
Whew. 10 seconds we go. Let's grab those weights. Here's three, two, and one. Good, keep that chest up. Over halfway. Almost there. Three, two, one. Oh, good. Now one more set. I know I'm pushing you today. We're working three sets. That's why I love hypertrophy training because it really does help to shape and define those muscles. So when you're feeling it, know you're working it and you're getting closer to your goals. So just keep that, keep that in the forefront as it gets tough. It helps a little bit. We gotta go five seconds. So grab your dumbbells, bring it up. Last set for squat. Here's three, two, one. And up, squeeze the glutes, come on. Drop it down, push through those heels, stay strong. You're over halfway. And remember, last one here. This is three, two, one. Amazing. 30 seconds. All right, we have got an alternating forward stepping lunge. Now the forward stepping lunge works the quads a little bit more. If lunges bother your knees, we've got a modification for you. And for that exercise, you can do, you'll see me doing it with dumbbells, but you can do it without dumbbells as well if you'd like. So let's grab our dumbbells, getting ready, ready. Alternating forward stepping lunge. I'm gonna keep my 25 pounds and we gotta go. Nice job. Make sure as you go through this lunge, you're not rounding your shoulders. So make sure the shoulders are rolled back. You're keeping that chest up. Almost there. Good. Three, two, one. 30 seconds, rest it out. Grab a drink, dry off anytime you need. Four set in, I'm already drying off. Ooh la la, that's word of the day. 10 seconds, here we go. Did you go heavy enough? Got two more shots here, so make it count. Here we go in three, two, and one. You're almost there. Come on, keep it strong right to that very last rep. Here it is, three. Come on, count down, two, one. One more set. Final set. Whew. 15 seconds and we go. 
Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know if I should set the weights down or not. I'm like, oh, it's harder to pick them back up. <laughs> All right, five seconds, we go. Here's three, two, and last set here. Good, chest is up. Almost there. <sighs> 10 seconds out. <sighs> Here it is. Three, two, one. All right, sumo deadlift is next. I like to use one really heavy dumbbell for this exercise. I'm gonna use my 50 pound dumbbell, hold onto it with a grip one way and then the other way. Now this exercise, you're gonna have a hinge. We're gonna start at the bottom. You're gonna have a hinge at the hips and the knees. So make sure that back is staying flat and solid. Five seconds, start at the bottom. Going in three, two, and one. So we've got a little bit of a squat here because we're bending the knees but then we're also hinging at the hips, just like the Romanian deadlift. Whew. Push through the heels of your feet. Think about pushing that floor away. Whew. You're rocking it. Come on, this is tough. Three, two, one. Ooh. Breathe, nice job. Tough one, super important to keep. You don't, you don't want to round or arch here, so make sure you're keeping everything nice and straight as we go through that. If you find you're starting to arch, lower the weight, lower the weight, lower the weight. Always form over your weight, especially for this one where we're working really heavy to begin with. Whew. So let's get ready. Second set, three, two, and one. Whew. Whew. Amazing job. Oh, good. Almost there. Come on, we got it all working. We got the hams, the quads, the glutes. Here it is. Three, two, one. Nice job. This is an amazing functional exercise, if you think about it here. So functional exercises, are exercises that help you in your everyday life, moves that you would do in your everyday life. And this is one of those, you've always heard it. Lift with your legs, not your back. That's what I want you to think about. We're lifting here with the legs. So think about that as you go through this. Three seconds, we go again. Here's two and one. Also, make sure that bar is not going, or your dumbbell is not going out too far or too far back. Just right in line here. Just about with the, the sole, or the, I'm sorry, the arch in your foot as you come down. So arms just hang comfortably down and pull. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Whew. Nice job. Breathe in. That was our third set. All right, we are moving on to a Romanian deadlift. All right, and for this Romanian deadlift, we're gonna do a half rep 
Back up, full rep, back up. Whew. So I'm gonna use one dumbbell, I'm using 35 for this. Slight bend in the knees, drive those hips back, and let's begin. So take it half, hold it, back up to the top, full, all the way down now. Down, and up. Half rep, and up. Good, now when I say all the way down for this full, that is for your full range of motion. So you may be going farther than me, you may not be going quite as far as me. Either way works, as long as you are feeling it in your hamstrings. You just feel that nice contraction in the hamstrings and pull and squeeze, and you got it. So working half, up, almost there. Good, here's three, two, and one. Whew. Breathing it out. Three sets. Or two more sets to go. This is our first set. I'm gonna bump up my weight a little bit. Listen, if you got some, some more lifting in you, grab that heavier weight. So same thing, half to full in three, two, and one. Almost there. Good, this is three, two, and one. Whew. My, oh, the legs. One more set for our half to full RDL. 15 seconds. So let's get ready. Whew. Grab your weight. Five seconds out. Here it is in three, two, and one. Halfway. Make sure you're taking your time through this. seconds out. Come on, keep it strong. Remember, last set here. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Amazing. We are going into, I might actually keep this. We're, I'm going to use 40 pounds for the sumo squat. With that sumo squat though, we are going to do a uh, sumo squat, pulse, and up. So we're going to do uh, down for two pulses, and then up. So grab your dumbbell. I'm gonna use one right in the center here for this. So legs out, toes out, going in three, two, and one. Here we go. So down, hold it down, pulse it. One, two, and push through the heels and up. Pulse it. Whew. Work at your own pace here for this sumo squat and pulse. And squeeze. Whew. Last little bit. Here's three, two, and one. Rest it out. Whew. I forgot one of the sets of the sumo pulse. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. 
So second set, sumo pulses. We pulse for two and then up. Here we go. Pulse it for two and then all the way up. Push through your heels, down, and squeeze. Think about squeezing those inner thighs together. Almost there. And up. Good, here's three. Two and one. Amazing. 30 seconds to rest here, and then we're gonna get back to finishing our final set of sumo squats. And let me just say, as speaking from someone who has now finished this workout, legs are gonna be feeling mighty fine after this one. <laughs> oh, 15 seconds, grab a drink if you need it. All right, getting ready to go in that next set. Five seconds. So remember, pulse, pulse up. And let's begin. Almost halfway. Ten seconds left. Come on, you got it. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, that was the last step for that. Now we're gonna bring it down to the mat for glute bridge. So grab some dumbbells for glute bridge and let's bring it down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with twenty or thirty. Actually, I'm sorry. I have thirty. I'm trying to tell my mind it's not as heavy as I think it's going to be. <laughs> it's only 20. Whew. So we're gonna work with a different tempo for this one. We're gonna take it up for one count. Hold it for three, down for four. We go in three, two, and one. So take it up, hold it, three, two, one. Lower down for four, three, two, one. Right back up, up, squeeze, hold it, three, two, one. Lower, four, two, one. I'm gonna let you work at your pace now. Whew. Just make sure you hold, squeeze, and lower slow. We're almost there. Good, here's three, two, and one. Rest it down. Oh my. Whew. Make sure when you're doing your glute bridge, the weight is staying in your heels and knees are tracking over your toes. So you don't want your knees falling out or in. All right, we've got to go again. Three seconds and let's begin. Same tempo, take it up for one, hold it for three. Two, one, lower down for four. Three, two, one, back up. Good, down for four. Whew. I'll tell you what, when you're holding it up there, that shake is something else. Almost there. Good, here it is. Three, two, one. Oh, one more set. Oh my. Oh. Fifteen seconds left here. All right, bring those weights back down. Get ready to go. 
So remember, up for one, hold for three, down for four. We start right now. Up, hold. Nice, slow, lower. Come on down, nice and slow. If you catch yourself working through that lower too quick, hold it there for a second and then take it slow. We're almost there though. Last time here. Good, three, two, one. Whew. Dumbbells are out. So carefully get your heavy weights out of the way. We are gonna stay down here on the mat though actually to finish this workout out. So we'll just get our dumbbells out of the way, but we are going to do a straight leg fire hydrant. Now you have the option to bend the knee at any time. So you can start straight, then bend it. Cause it is, the intensity is definitely up with this, the leg straight. Going in three, two, and one. And if you want to see that bend, just in case, bent knee, you just bend the knee in, keeping that leg bend at 90 degrees. As you lift in lower, make sure that tap on the ground is just that, a tap. So don't hold it down at the ground. Make sure it's just a quick tap and up. And yes, we have three sets of this on each side. We're rounding, we're perking right now. Good times. Ooh la la. Whew, here's three, two, and a one. Breathe. I'm loving the 30 seconds though of rest, right? 15 seconds we go again. Whew. All right, let's bring it back down. Five seconds. Here's three, two, and one. Almost there. Whew. Here's three, two, one. Wow. Whew. I don't really have much to say about this right now. <laughs> Other than when I planned it, I was like, I know we're gonna be working the bum spot on today. <laughs> And we are. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds out. Whew. Last time for this side, so get excited about that. Going in three, two, and one. And remember, anytime you wanna bend that leg, you can do that bent knee fire hydrant as well. Over halfway. Here's three, two, one. Yes, we're switching sides. Three sets. And then we've made it through the leg portion and we'll be moving on to abs. Keeping it strong. 15 seconds out, so we'll bring it back down. Again, you've got the option just to do that bent knee fire hydrant. 
But let's go ahead and get that leg out. We go in three, two, and one. Almost there. Good, here's three, two, one. <sighs> All I can think of when we're doing this, and let me know if you agree, Bunzo Steel, right? <laughs> does, that, does anyone remember those videos? <laughs> oh my God. But that, hey, we're working it right now. Buns of Steel coming soon. Oh, going again, five seconds, so get that leg out. Here's three, two, and one. Over halfway. <sighs> Come on, almost there. Oh, here it is. Three, two, one. Nice. One more set. Final set. And then we're going to have abs of steel next. <laughs> Coming soon. Oh, man. I love working out with you. I don't know if I said that. I'm, I'm so glad you pressed play today. <sighs> we, we, got, we got two things going on. We're getting stronger, we're having fun, we're boosting the mood. That was three things. Three, <laughs> third set. Here we go, five seconds out. We go in three, two, and one. tough set at the end there. We have got a nice break now before we get into abs. So if you wanna grab a drink, dry off, stretch the legs out for just a second. We can put our weights away because we won't need those again. And then we'll meet back on the mat for abs. All right, for this ab section, we are going to work for 30, rest for 15, but we're gonna work through each exercise only two times. So our first exercise we're gonna do is right center, left center. You can add a march when we hit the right and the left, or you can keep your feet planted on the ground for the entire set. Biggest thing here, try to minimize the space between your ribs and hips to really contract and work the abs. We've got 10 seconds here. Whew. All right, here we go in three, two, and one. Working right, center, and left. Back to center. Work at your own pace here, but really think about getting those shoulder blades up off of the mat. Here's three, two, and one. Whew. Stretch it out one more time through. Time goes by quick this time. Less than 10 and we go. So let's bring it up. Going in three, 
two, and one. Exhale as you lift. Ten seconds. Oh, the abs. Almost there. Whew. Here's three, two, and one. Nice. Whew. Next exercise. We're gonna do leg lowers. Hands right behind, besides, beside your um, bum here, and we're gonna alternate legs. So keep those feet flexed. Right here. Think about stamping your feet against the ceiling, and then we're gonna bring one leg down and then the other. Keep that low back pressed into the mat. You also have the option to do this bent knee and just bring that heel down towards the mat as you keep that low back pressed in. Take your time as you work through this. Good, this is three, two, and one, Woo. you can hug the legs in. We're gonna do that again. Let's bring it up, we've got less than 10 seconds. Good, here we go in three, two, and one. So remember, think about keeping that low back pressed into the mat as you lower that leg. If that, round, or if that low back starts to arch up, then you don't need to lower your leg as far. And you can also have that option of bending the knees. Almost there. Good, this is three, two, and one. Whew. Tuck the legs in. Whew. Cross body crunch. We're gonna work one side and then the other. So hands are gonna be right behind your head. You can bring that knee in, meeting the knee to elbow. Going in three, two, and one, here we go. Exhale as you crunch up. Really think about getting those shoulder blades or the shoulder blade for that cross body there up off of the mat. Whew, almost there. Good, here's three, two, and a one. Same thing, same side. Here we go in five, four, three, two, and one. Good, really squeeze. Ooh. Here it is, three, two, and that's one. Just switching sides. So you're gonna do that same thing that you just did, just switch sides. So again, you have the option to keep your foot on the floor and just lift the upper body. We've gotta go in three, here's two, and a one. Almost there. Oh, you got it. Come on, we are getting so close. Three, two, and one. Oh. Good, once more. And then after this, we have one exercise. That is always, I love it when I get to say that. Here we go in three, two, and one. Almost there. Three, 
three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna do a, an arm marching plank. You have the modification as well on screen for that. So go ahead and get into plank position up on a high plank, going in three, two, and one. So we bring it down. Now, if you lead down with your right arm and back up, lead down with left and back up. Almost there. Good, here's three, two, one. Whew. Press it back one more time. Almost there. Oh, breathing. Bring it back up to plank. Last 30 seconds of work. Keep it strong and let's go. is such a tough exercise. You've got it though. Good, this is three, two, and one. We did it. We have just completed our leg day plus abs workout. You are amazing. If your legs are feeling mighty fine, don't forget to let me know by hitting the like button and I will see you over at our stretch, a much deserved, well needed stretch. So go over there, I'll see you for that stretch and I love ya.